1984, Kirk Bloodsworth was arrested for the assault and murder of a nine-year-old girl in the state of Maryland. Right here in my great state of Maryland, witnesses had given a clear description of the murderer as a six-foot-five skinny, mustachioed guy with curly blonde hair. It was an open and shut case. Just one problem. Bloodsworth was only six feet, clean shaven, red hair, and tremendously overweight. Nonetheless, the state of Maryland tried him and threw him on death row. Perhaps the dumbest aspect of all of this is the police had recently caught a guy who matched the suspect's description to a T. He'd recently been jailed for the rape and attempted murder of another minor and was incarcerated in prison one cell away from Bloodsworth. But no one ever managed to put two and two together. Bloodsworth was only freed when a 1992 DNA test proved that he wasn't the guy. He was the first death row inmate in U.S. history to be exonerated.